Hi all, another quick one. Um, so I have got to the point of fitting the speaker grill on the dashboard. And as many of you will know, you've got these pins that locate into clips. Now I happen to have some clips that I got from uh, the Stag Breakers yard, but I've tried them and they're so loose and worn out, they're not worth bothering with. So I'm, um, I'm not gonna bother with those. Instead, what I'm doing, is trying this which seems to be working at the moment I've got to fit three more um, so I've got grommet blanking grommet drilled a four mil hole in it so it's kind of tight but not impenetrable for, for the pins on the uh, on the speaker grill and then I'm fitting that into the dash into the holes where the pins were, would have located previously however as you'll know with the vinyl dash it has a layer of uh, vinyl and also foam uh, hard foam underneath it which means fitting that makes fitting the grommet quite challenging so I made this tool out of a piece of 15 mil copper pipe which is about the same diameter as the uh, grommet and I took a, um, a countersink bit on my drill and I just gently drilled into the end of the pipe to give it a sort of sharp edge and I've basically made myself a cutter which goes through the vinyl like butter so I'll just try it here and show you. So I'm, I'm fitting twin little eight centimeter speakers. Obviously that's where the hole is. That one there, that one there, and that one there. So let's start with this one. You just rock it round a bit, twist it, and it'll cut into the vinyl, and it'll cut down through the vinyl into the foam. And if you keep going, a few more twists. Sorry, I probably lost you then. I may have lost its edge, but it's working. It's going. And then eventually you end up with a nice, neat, round circle of material. It hasn't cut through the other edge there. There you go. So you get a nice round circle of material ready to take the grommet, which the pins will locate in. So I'm gonna do the other two and then we'll see if it works. Okay, so I'm back to do the second hole. I actually took this back to the drill and gave it another little sharpen up with the countersunk bit. So we'll see if it's a bit more effective on this hole because it definitely lost its edge. I mean, it's only copper, so, so you just locate it on around the center of the hole, twist it. There you go, it's gone through the vinyl. A few more twists and there you go nice neat hole and you remove that bit out of there and then we're on to the last one which is that one over there it's already lost its edge it's still a bit got a bit left though I reckon you can do two between sharpenings. There you go, I think that's almost through now. I can feel it on the metal of the dash underneath. Oh, there you go. So you've got four nice neat holes that can then take a grommet and you can see where I put the grommet in here. So I'm gonna fit the other three and then I'll be back in a sec. Right, okay, so I've put the grommets in. I'm just getting the grill. And as you can see, I've got four grommets, all with a four mil hole drilled in them, which will obviously closes up a little bit when you pull the drill out. Um, you'll notice on this dash, by the way, I've got a couple of problems here. I've got a crack just there. And that's nothing compared to that corner, which looks atrocious, to be honest. But as you probably know, if you've ever rebuilt a stag or maintained a stag, the, uh, the dashboards are uh, a nightmare because they're old vinyl, they crack. It's impossible to get replacement. And um, if you do get a replacement, it's just gonna be another old dash that may last for a while. But any time, I mean, in my case, unfortunately, probably that little bit of damage around the speaker grill is my fault, which is even more frustrating. Anyway, here we go. Just fit the grill. You've got your four prongs that just locate on the, there you go. Nice 
comfortable and tight. That's not gonna pop out at any point. So that works a treat. Uh, simple, cheap fix.